Salut YouTube. Welcome back to the Freedom Castle Cafe. I am Shalanda Elise and you are inside of Le Chateau. So I'm about to remix my leftovers from last night and I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm too creative to eat the same thing twice or do the same thing twice. So this here is a, a beef liver with red onion and also beef shank. And I seasoned it last night with turmeric. That's why it's that color. Lots of turmeric. Um, seaweed sea salt, which you'll see later in this video. And a few other seasonings. Some red chili peppers as well. Um, so I'm just getting it in here so that it can start to loosen up and melt the ghee. I cooked this yesterday with ghee, which I love. So, uh, yeah, I'm just scraping it all. You know, waste not, want not. Let's get it all in the pot. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Just getting it all in there. This was so fire yesterday. Flavorful. I layer my seasonings. Um, in one of my upcoming cooking videos, I'll be cooking raw food from scratch. This is just a remix. So I'm just breaking it all down so that it can loosen up and the ghee can start to warm up. That right there is the beef shank. And there's another small piece in there. So now I'm going to cover it and just let it do its thing for a little bit. Okay, so now that it's got a little looser and bubbling a little bit, I'm gonna add some water. And this is going to um, give me a little more of just my natural sauce and continue to soften up the beef shank. So here is the seaweed sea salt. This is from a local company, um, a farm down in San Juan Capistrano that I used to have as clients. This is so beautiful and it tastes phenomenal. So I'm gonna sprinkle some of this in there. I'm only putting this in here because it's hella flavorful and I added water. So that's why I'm adding more salt just to make sure that it stays rightly seasoned okay your girl don't like bland food at all i layer my seasonings i season my food i i yeah in one of my upcoming videos i'll be cooking uh raw food from scratch and you'll see what i mean by i layer my seasonings so just flipping that beef shank making sure it's fully submerged in the water So I'm just making sure everything is stirred up and mixed in well, getting it all uh, combined well, you know, because it, it sat overnight. So, And like I said, the liver is mixed in with the onions. So that's what it's looking like. I don't have my fire too high, like medium. Bam. Look at it now. Look at that. Look at that. Hoo chow. Stop playing with your girl. This is fire. Last night it was fire. This night? Sure. Yeah. So now I am um, cracking some walnuts. I have walnuts in my basket. So I'm cracking a few walnuts. Oh, and that's my cute little picnic basket that I got from Salvation Army. 
so cute. I don't really have anywhere to put it, but that's okay. That's okay. I needed it. So, yeah, I'm just going to continue to crack a few walnuts. Walnuts are on my highly beneficial list. Everything that I'm using is on my highly beneficial list. And the reason why I'm cooking in ghee, and you notice there's no sides because I'm just focusing on eating red meat and good healthy fats with the ghee and the bone marrow and the meat and all that goodness. All right, so here we go. Ooh, that's hot. Where is my oven mitt? All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to stir it up a little bit. It's starting to thicken up as well. It's just about finished. And I do turn my pot quite often. I'm not completely level. Although I did a pretty good job at leveling my stove today. <laughs> now I'm going to add the walnuts. What did you think I was going to do with them? Just eat them? Nope, they're going right in here. Yes, yes, yes. If you have not put walnuts in your food, especially your red meat dishes or even lamb or goat, go ahead and try that. Go ahead and try it. You can thank me later, so you're welcome in advance. <laughs> it is fire. So that's going to cook down. The walnuts are going to cook in there and they stay cr they stay crunchy like they don't get soft. So let's just, you know, cover this back up, let it continue to do its thing. Look at that. Look at that. You see the walnuts? Look at that. You see, I've already eaten, so I'm just like, this was delicious. <laughs> this was delicious. Mmm. Fire. All right, so now it's about to get interesting. Yes, so your girl got some feta cheese. I wanted the natural feta, not the pre-crumbled stuff already with any type of preservatives. Let's just pour some of that feta juice in there. <laughs> Stop playing. Feta cheese is one of the two cheeses that's on my highly beneficial list. All other cheeses are out. Even my favorite smoked Gouda. No more of that. So anyway, put that in there, um, stir it up a little bit, and then I'm going to let that continue to simmer and, and do its thing. And we're pretty much coming to the end. I'm, I'm salivating at this point.
Okay, so uh, I'm satisfied with with that simmer. Let's turn the stove off, and um, I'm gonna let this sit for about five minutes. Here we go. Let's. I got my bowl ready. Let's get it in there. Mm, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, I know it's not the greatest view. I did what I could. But I promise you, look at that. Look at that. Just, just look at that. Um, yeah. Like, comment leave 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 me all your input share this video man people need to see this this is fire and january janvier is carnivore month yeah share this with all your red meat loving carnivores yes we bringing back out the feta just wait for it just wait for it Ah, yes. I'll crumble my own feta. Thank you. Just give me the whole block with no preservatives. This feta like this, it's a bit more sour and more creamy than the pre-crumbled pre stuff. Oh, man. Stop playing. Stop playing. This is... Look at that. I can't even look. I can't even look. I got to turn away. Is it done yet? I can't even look. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, look. <laughs> bon appétit. Bon appétit, baby. This was good. This was good. Thanks, y'all, for tuning in to the Freedom Castle Cafe, watching me remix last night's meal. Here it is. This is it right here. Beef liver and onions, beef shank, turmeric, seaweed, sea salt, feta cheese, all cooked in ghee. And this was fire to me. Look at that walnut. Oh, let's not forget the walnuts. Yeah. I wish y'all could taste this because this is really fire. It, it The flavors just dance on your tongue. Mm. I hope y'all food was delicious as well. Thanks for tuning in. Leave me your comments below and I'll see you on the next one.